It was a savage commemoration. Extremist Sunnis, supporters of Al-Qaeda, deliberately targeted groups of ordinary Shia Muslims as they waited at bus stops or other gathering places. It's part of an effort to wreck the new Iraq. And for a few hours, this felt like a return to the worst days of the insurgency and the civil war. Dozens of injured people have been brought into hospitals like this right across Baghdad. Normally at this time, this road would be absolutely crammed with traffic, but people are staying home today. There's a real fear that more bombs could happen. It's a fear that people have grown used to for the last 10 years. On this night in 2003, the hammer blows of the American attack started what turned into a decade of insurgency and civil war. Opinion polls at the time indicated that half the Iraqi people in this deeply divided country welcomed the invasion, while the other half were bitterly angry. A lot of that anger is still around. This is a famous tea house in central Baghdad, the Shah Bandar, which tends to attract writers and intellectuals. Six years ago, it was bombed. The owner lost four of his sons and a grandson. The invasion has had no benefits at all. It's held us back a hundred years. It's destroyed me and my family, who have become widows and orphans. It's only a mile away, but here the customers are young and very different. The Facebook cafe is the kind of place where no one cares what religion you are. So the continuing sectarian violence, which the invasion unleashed 10 years ago, makes everyone depressed. Noor Athir works as a waitress, something pretty rare in Iraq still. She wants to get out, she says. There's no future in this country. It certainly could be, thanks to Iraq's huge oil wealth. But the last 10 years have seen hundreds of thousands of lives snuffed out or ruined. And more lives were lost today.